Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Brick Games, where we cover all the latest in the LEGO video game series created by TT Games. This time we're playing LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, moving into the original trilogy with episode 4, the first level secret plans, and we're going to be showing you where all the mini kits and the red power brick is. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here near the beginning of the level where you have to pull these two switches after exiting the first room, this move over here with a dark side character like Darth Vader or Darth Sidious or Darth Maul, any Darth, and there is going to be the first mini kit here in this double score zone. Man, whatever happened to double score zones? You don't see that in modern LEGO games. <laughs> but uh, once you get into this room, switch to a bounty hunter character and there's going to be a silver LEGO object. Just blow it up with a detonator, then fall down below, and down here there's going to be a mini kit. So that's going to be mini kit number two. And then in this same room, just use the force. Once you get up to the top of the room, use the force on those two platforms there to jump up to the third mini kit of the level. So you couldn't get that in story mode because you didn't have the force because you were just playing as Princess Leia. And then in this next area, so destroy this little crate here, and uh, that crate, and you'll get a one of three. So you need to destroy three things to get a mini kit, and I'll be showing you where all those are. So just use a bounty hunter character once again to access this door on the right. And then I sped it up a little bit here, but head to the back of this hallway. If you just walk around these two little ramps on the left and right, they'll raise up and shoot out this door, which is kind of weird that you can build. And once you build the door, it's going to open a secret little area where the next mini kit is. So yeah, that's that, and then moving on, if you go from the left to here, if you head back and move to the left, there's going to be another silver Lego object, as well as a crate there on the right. Just blow that up and you'll get two of three, so that's two of the three things you need for another mini kit. Just go ahead and blow up this uh, silver Lego object with your bounty hunter character, so bounty hunters are very useful here. And you're going to build this vehicle, and that, that vehicle is going to come in really handy later, so just kind of save that. You don't need to do anything with it yet, but just wait for it. Go ahead and use a C-3PO droid to access, go through that force field, and you'll get three of three on there. So that will then unlock a mini kit where that last mini kit was. So go ahead and make your way back over there to collect it. I don't know why they had to spawn it way back there, uh, but there we go. That's, that's mini kit number five, I think. I don't know. I'm losing count. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and head back here past that force field that you opened up with C-3PO. And you can basically ignore everything in this room, except for this shower on the right. Just use the force on it to get it to spray water down and then destroy all the little plants that it grows and right there is going to be your red power brick for the level. So now that we've got that out of the way we can go back to the mini kits. So moving on through the area, go ahead and use uh, your stormtrooper to open up that door. It'll just make things a little bit easier for later for that vehicle. But uh, moving on through the level, if you use the force on those platforms you can get up there for that mini kit. So there you go. So now let's move back. Uh, actually wait, not yet. So the seventh mini kit is going to be over here. Just go ahead and use the force on these little knobs on the wall, whatever you call whatever you call those. And uh, there's going to be a little secret door on the left, very hidden. And there's going to be a mini kit in that little room there. So moving on. So there is the little platform. This is what I was talking about earlier. So what you want to do now is go all the way back to where that vehicle was. This is the most insane mini kit. Like, I think this is the hardest mini kit to get in the entire complete saga. Like, this is the one that gave me the most trouble. So go ahead and head back and use this vehicle that you built earlier from that silver Lego object and drive all the way up through the level. You have to drive like halfway through the level. This is completely insane. I don't think you would ever see this on a modern Lego game. But uh, move carefully up on this ramp. Now make sure you hold your vehicle. Don't go past the ramp. Drive very slowly to make sure you hold your vehicle on the ramp and jump up to get that mini kit. If you drive past it real fast and it raises up, sometimes the mini kit won't spawn and then you'll have to replay the whole level, which is kind of annoying. But uh, in this next section, go and destroy that wall on the left, and that's going to give you another one of three for another mini kit. Then uh, next up, use a stormtrooper or Palpatine or somebody to open this door and blow up this crate here on uh, your left or right, whatever you want to say. And that will give you two of three for those little flowers. Then moving on, use a bounty hunter character once again. Man, bounty hunter is really useful here. And you'll get three of three, and that will spawn the ninth mini kit there in the back. So there you go. So go ahead and build up these little ramps here to get across. And let's collect this mini kit. And the last mini kit is actually going to be straight ahead. So just destroy that little crate. And uh, use your R2-D2 droid to access this door here. Or R4-P17 as I'm using here. Any astromech droid will work. And then use the dark side of the force with Darth Vader or Palpatine or somebody like that on this little bathtub here. And, uh, and then you'll get the last mini kit. So that's all the mini kits and secret plans for the first level of the original trilogy. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to be notified when our newest videos come out. We're going to be producing more mini kit guides as well as everything up to date on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and other TT LEGO games. So I'll see you guys next time.